at some point, uh, the truth about Harvey has to come out. Uh, near the end. Yes, it was he who did it. It wasn't Batman. We've called off any crap against Batman. It's probably, it's probably close to the end. What do we do with Two-Face? The sympathetic villain. That's what Two-Face is. That's what he should be. At some point, Alfred uh, tells Batman the truth about Rachel. And at some point, Batman passes that on to Harvey. What does Harvey end up doing? I remember thinking to myself, what, what, what should he do with Harvey? What is he, he, we end up throwing him in jail, or? Redemption, you know, does he turn and change his ways and get away? Or uh, does he commit suicide? I had an image in my head of him holding a gun and pointing it and then, like, you know, pointing it between each half of him and eventually winds up, I forget which half, left side is evil, uh, ends up shooting himself through the left side. Uh, is, he, he, he's attempting almost a redemptive suicide. He's killing himself because he's realized that he's evil. I, uh, I thought of that option. I don't, I don't, it's not my current plan to use it. But something along those lines. We find out... Oh, wait, 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 yeah, we, we find out that um, Batman is Bruce Wayne. Uh, the criminals find out anyway. And they kill Bruce Wayne. Fighting. Um, but in the meantime, and maybe perhaps that even introduces some doubt. Or, 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 was it really Bruce Wayne? Maybe we had that wrong? Maybe Reese lied to us? Oh, frick, we killed him. Oh, well. Um, and Reese is, you know, another innocent, a relatively innocent guy who ends up getting caught in the crossfire. Also, innocent people getting caught in the crossfires. Uh, but at some point, at least for Harvey Dent, he specifically confirms it. Really is Bruce, which means Batman not only you know screwed things up and allowed Rachel to get blown to pieces, but uh, you well okay. What did Harvey know about Rachel and Bruce? Maybe he finds out about that too. You know, and say, and furthermore, you were trying to date my girl. <laughs> Talks to him at some point. Probably, you know, again, from Batman Shadows or something. I don't know. And, and, and uses the memory of Rachel to persuade Harvey to stop. Rachel was, you know, assistant DA or whatever. Rachel believed in, in changing this city. And Bruce has got to tell him, I believed in you too. I believed you were the white knight. You are here to save us all. At some point, perhaps Gordon finds out Batman's identity, or or finds out that Alfred knows Batman, which like is fairly clear. It might be Bruce Wayne we're talking about as Batman, but you know it's still a little hazy. Maybe it's something like that. It's uh, gonna play into. it all end up eh? where was the end of it uh, t -t 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 -t. a lot of details I don't know exactly this war zone type thing and something something for Batman to do in his final actions oh I haven't even mentioned something else yet <laughs> it, I was talking about ideals how we inspire others Jokers inspired this cult. Who does Batman inspire? And we even set this up in the Dark Knight. It's so good. You had uh, people, you know, regular people dressed up as Batman. Uh, and, they're, and they're not even halfway as effective as Batman, but nevertheless, they're, they're trying. And, again, there's no, and, you, and you get the feeling that, like, the Joker people have more people, but, like, um, there's also a, a pro Batman. They leave like graffiti of just you know the Batman symbol or something, or uh, uh, "Long live the Bat," things like that. And they you know do a little 
vigilantism of their own, or connect like intelligence to the thing. And, and Batman uh, is very reluctant to work with them because he doesn't want to risk other people's lives. You know, he, he brings all this on himself. They've said in several interviews that they would never bring in Robin uh, to these to these Batman movies, to the Christopher Nolan movies, uh, because you know it just doesn't work. It could work, but only if you do it very differently. You have a Robin, which is which is not uh, you know. Dick Grayson or Tim Drake or Jason Todd or any just have, have a different guy entirely. Uh, who, you know, who's not, you know, a kid who uh, doesn't, you know, wear stupid flashy colors, uh, who didn't, you know, coincidentally also his parents were killed by criminals when he was a child and therefore that inspires him to give it a frick you. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, and not even, you know, I'm really stretching out. He's not even like Batman's sidekick, but um, a important member, or maybe a de facto leader of the the, you know, the pro Batman group of people. Whoever this guy is, an entirely different name, and maybe he's like something weird, like Asian or whatever. You know, we haven't had an Asian Robin. It wouldn't even be called Robin. So I'm really stretching the concept. <laughs> if anything, I would go with Nightwing, <laughs> just because that sounds cool. But maybe just. It'd be a, a, a code name Nightwing or something. There's various members of this of this group. Some of them more effective than others. Some of them more uh, honest than others. You know, there's all sorts of craziness there. There's a, there's a pro Batman group. And maybe Jim Gordon is supposed to arrest some of those people too, because supposedly they're harboring the Batman. But imagine. Um, Bruce Wayne has been killed, so they think. Batman's still around and perhaps has to rely on this group. Thing. Okay, so we, want the feel, we want the feeling of the, the, the enemy forces overwhelming us, and they are. Sort of war zone idea. You know, just, you just get the notion that, that, that the bad guys are just j taking over Gotham. They're just taking it. And maybe we'll send in the military or something, but we're not even sure where that would end up with. By the way, there's still a lot of innocent civilians running around. The fear in the heart of the populace. After, like, you know, Gotham uh, Central Hospital got blown up and, and, and all this random crap in Batman 2. The fear, which has leads some people to this, this cult of the Joker stuff. Something for Batman to do in his final acts. I thought maybe um, there's a, a large number of bombs in the city in various buildings. And whenever they feel like it, they can blow one up. If, for instance, the cops, you know, route out all the Jokers from a given building, or even just some of the Jokers, you know, because Jokers are willing to sacrifice their own kind. We just hit this button, you know, and we blow up that building. Which is potentially, you know, helps to explain why we haven't exactly uh, sent in the military. Or like, frick, everywhere we go, we like, you know, they blow up buildings which kill civilians, which, um, so forth, so forth, so forth, so forth. Bombs and such. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, way back when, when I was saying about Batman 2, and how Joker, and how Two-Face had these bombs in this place that he, blows the building in half, you know, and creates all this rubble. Um, the thought was that uh, Joker had helped to set that up. That Joker put a bunch of explosives in this random building, and then in that scene where he says, take this card, do you bet, uh, he might also mention uh, the address of, uh, of this place. This building that we can blow up here. And then, as, uh, as Two-Face is waving his gun around, he's also, he, you know, moves some of these barrels. He, he puts the explosive barrels in, you know, in a line to make this thing that would blow the building in half. Because that is obviously his thing. Two-Face. 